In this video, we're going to learn how to use the set base stream manipulator in C++. So the set base stream manipulator allows us to modify the base used when outputting an integer. We can use decimal, octal, or hexadecimal. Let's go over an example. So the first thing we'll do is include the IO manip library where set base is defined. Then we'll declare and initialize an int variable called number, and we'll set it equal to 17. If we output this number using C out, by default, we're gonna get a base 10 or decimal representation. So we save this, run it, and we'll get number 17. We can use set base to change the base to octal. So I could say C out number colon. This time though, we'll say set base eight, and then we'll output the number. Again, followed by an end line. And if we save this and run it, we get two one here because two times eight is 16 plus one is 17. So that's the base eight or octal representation of the number 17. Now this will only work with integers. So if we try to output say 18 here, we're still gonna have base eight. We're still gonna have an octal representation of that number. But if we try to output a floating point value, like say 123.123 followed by an end line there, it's gonna have no effect. We just get 123.123. We can also change the base to hexadecimal. So we could say C out number colon, and we'll say set base 16, followed by the number, followed by an end line. And if we save that again, we'll get number 11. And that makes sense because one times 16 is 16 plus one is 17. Now, if we want to use decimal again, we have to change it back. So we'd have to say C out number colon set base 10. And then we could output the number here as well. And if we save this and run it, we'll be back to a base 10 or decimal representation of the number. Now, just for fun, we could do something like a loop that outputs the numbers from 0 to 32 using these three different bases. So we'll say int i is equal to zero, i is less than or equal to 32, i plus plus, and we'll just flip between the bases using set base. So we'll say c out set base 10, followed by i, followed by a space, and then c out set base eight, followed by i, followed by a space. And then we'll do the same thing with hexadecimal. We'll say c out set base, 16 followed by i this time followed by an end line so we're going to output the numbers from 0 to 32 in all three bases using this loop here and you can see we get the decimal octal and hexadecimal representation of these numbers and notice with the hex numbers we start using the characters a b c d e f as expected to represent numbers in that range that's how we can output hexadecimal and octal numbers using the set base stream manipulator in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.